we are back with more challenges the creatures must face. This time, we've got hurdles. Well, they're really just bumps, but I'll call them hurdles. So like before, we've got 1,000 randomly generated creatures, and they will each have 15 seconds to show how well they can move to the right. But unlike last time, they'll have hurdles in the way. There's a hurdle every meter, and each hurdle is 8 centimeters by 8 centimeters. Will they learn how to cope with that? Let's find out! Oh, also, the simulations are playing back 50% faster than they should be, and I don't know why. As the title of this video suggests, I've released the source code for this evolution simulator. That means you can go to the link in the description and play around with it. You can run the JavaScript version in the browser if you want, but I found that it was about 3 or 4 times slower than the processing version. For example, one generation ASAP was about 1 to 2 seconds in processing, but it takes about 5 seconds with JavaScript. So, if you want it to run quickly, and you want to toy around with the variables and stuff, then you should download processing if you haven't already, and run it from there. Okay, back to the evolution. You can see that from the original set of 1,000 creatures, very few are even making it to the first hurdle, which is pretty pathetic. After sorting, we can see that at least the best creature made it past 1 meter. Let's see how it did it. Oh also, can you see the new displays that show time and distance? I just added those. This triangle gets its last node caught on the hurdle, so it can't go any further. As for the worst creature, it's an S5-6 species that managed to go almost three times as far but in the wrong direction. It must be easier to go left because I didn't add any hurdles there. Also, upgrading from processing 1.5.1 to processing 2.2.1 caused some weird changes to happen, like these oddly textured rectangles. I like how they look though, so I'll leave it how it is. This time, the median distance for Generation 1 is positive, which means that over half of our creatures went in the right direction. That's just due to chance, though. Generation 2's best creature saw a 44mm increase over Generation 1, but it suffered the same downfall, getting its last node stuck on the hurdle. A new species, S45, takes the lead, but its total distance traveled isn't much better than its predecessors. Now, S45 is the most common species, but then the triangles just won that title back. Longer, more rigid muscles give this big bone triangle the advantage, allowing it to be the first ever creature to fully make it past the first hurdle. But its spastic hesitations mean it's lights out before it even gets a chance at the second hurdle. By generation 21, the best creature's distance has soared to over 3 meters, but it's still the same triangular structure, just a bit more fine-tuned. In the line graph, it's easy to see where the first hurdle lies. A large chunk of the creatures are stuck at a little past 1 meter because their last node gets stuck on the first hurdle. On the histogram, you can see that abnormally large spike. It's got about 520, aka more than half, of all the creatures. It's also red, which means that's where the median lies. As more and more creatures get good enough to pass the first hurdle completely, the abnormally large spike on the histogram shrinks and shrinks. Since the vertical scale is also changing, it looks like the rest of the histogram is growing. And BAM! The median hits the 1.2s and the 1.3s! In other news, the triangles take a clear majority of the population, with over 95%. In a mere 10 generations, that's about 300 years for you humans out there, the median distance has essentially doubled, leaping from the perils of the 1 meter hurdle to the perils of the 2 meter hurdle. And now, the space between 1 and 2 meters on the line graph looks pretty empty, and that's because if a creature gets past the hurdle at 1 meter, there's no reason to stop before it gets to 2 meters. So, most creatures just zoom right past that area, because it's so easy. By generation 66, we've reached 4 meters, and I think it's pretty clear to say that triangles are here for the rest of all time. I mean, 98.6% of all creatures? This is just unfair. We're reaching the next evolutionary revolution. The median is quickly rising from 2 to 3. And wait, 3 to 4 also? That gap between meter jumps happened a lot faster than previous ones. Maybe that's because when you've proven you can pass 3 hurdles, the fourth one really isn't all that more difficult. 
It's interesting how the histogram clearly shows spikes corresponding to each hurdle. Now that the median's past 4 meters, there are 4 spikes. Well, now that's starting to look like 5 spikes. Also, unlike last time, there doesn't seem to be any concentration of creatures at 0 meters. Do you see that place on the line graph where all the percentiles seem to be clumping? Well, that's actually 1 meter, not 0. Here's what a 7 meter performance looks like. And here's a marginally better high 7. So after 400 generations, it looks like the creatures are plateauing out. At this point, all 1,000 creatures are triangles, and almost 90% of them get past 4 meters. I'm a bit surprised that the median didn't catch up with the best like it normally does, but that might be because of how easy it is for a slight modification to make a creature stumble like 5 meters down the road. I'm a bit disappointed that the triangle, the simplest structure of all, took over. I was hoping for more complex creatures to arise, but I guess that didn't happen. How will we get that to happen? Maybe I'll make the hurdles taller. I guess we'll find out in the next video!